Good day, everybody. How's everyone doing? What's up, Marshall? Hey, Mel. Welcome. Welcome to the hey, party, guys. Mel. Hey, morning, morning, guys. There we go. Hey, Charlie. Hey, how you doing? There we great, go. great. Hi, Mel. Hey, Mel. Good morning. What's up, gang? <laughs> Good to see you. you. You're gonna have a full house. You're presenting. Yeah, to I'm like, <laughs> I expected you to be out here with like one person. <laughs> we got Alina for sure. So Alina, yeah. Alina will be the facilitator. But uh, you got a full house. So yeah, yeah. this is a little intimidating. <laughs> uh, we're all friendly. I promise. <laughs> no, I, I believe that. <laughs> awesome. All right, Alina. I'll uh, I'll pass it to you. Hey, amazing. Thank you so much. So first. Um, huge thank you for my side for waking up today maybe a little earlier and just giving us um, your time. So what I wanted to ask first is just could you please explain how do you help people? Like what your niche is, um, maybe like main products. So overall, so people watching this interview will understand. Yeah, so I help people start or scale their online business using social media. So I help people anywhere from, you know, affiliate marketing, digital marketing, that specific niche. And then just shout out to Tommy because it's we we had a conversation not too long ago and here we are on an interview. <laughs> Good to see you, Matt. You too. I'm sorry. Were there other amazing? Love that. And then um, no, <laughs> that, that that's pretty much it for the first part. And then uh, what was your point B? So um, I would love to hear. So obviously we know about amazing launch in one day. Um, but could you please share point A? So maybe what you're struggling with. Uh, maybe like amount of leads or sales. So what one thing? And then uh, point B, so what results you got in the short amount of time you were with us? Yeah, so point A was, you know, I, I was making about $20,000 a month, which, you know, that's, that's awesome and all, but I was in affiliate marketing. So because I was in affiliate marketing, I was only, I was not keeping 100% of, of what was coming in. So I, I had that belief that I could do more, but I didn't know how to promote myself. I didn't know how to create content for myself. I didn't know how to create offers. I didn't know how to pivot my content creation to align more with the offers. I didn't know how to inventory my audience. I didn't even know that I had to do that. And after learning all of those skills, I, I got to work. I changed my content. I changed my strategy. And I was actually looking at my stats today and I actually lost followers during this time, which is kind of funny. And uh, we had almost about a $50,000 um, launch. And then yesterday we did close our six figures. Yeah. Yeah. So conversion is up. Everything is up. Um, I just feel like a better coach for it as well. So definitely a different place. <laughs> Amazing. Got it. So, and then from those 20 K, so how much uh, money you were making like personally? Or what do you mean? So you mean you meant like affiliate program. So was it like a percentage that you got or Yeah, so so I was that was my reward was the twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Like that was that was for me. The the thing was that it wasn't my voice. I was affiliating for somebody else. I didn't have control of the marketing, any control of the funnel. You know, that I think that, that I think affiliate marketing is great for beginners, but then you know, then you want to help more people. And so that's where, where I didn't know how to pivot, how to market myself. So definitely that has been like the biggest learning experience. And I, I think everybody should learn that. Even if you are promoting somebody else's products, you need to learn how to find your voice. You need to learn how to find the, the content that aligns with you. And you need to learn how to, how to speak to your audience because that content does, you know, bring you traffic. But if you don't know how to bridge that to your offer, that's where conversion it wasn't working for me. And I know that you and I talked to, and you told me, you're like, I don't know about this. I don't know if it's actually converting that well for you. Um, but I think I told you that what I wanted to do was just find my voice. And after doing that, again, not gaining any new followers, just simply changing my content and inventorying the audience that I already had, that closed a six-figure month for us yesterday, which is just like in insane, insane. I still can't believe it. <laughs> Amazing. And this is just the beginning. So imagine what results oh. you will see. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's May 1st and I was literally months. already like taking notes like okay, what do we need to double down on? But I do I do want to highlight maybe this is a question you you have, but I just really want to say that 
what you guys give inside of this course really is with that beginner in mind because people will think that oh you know she was making twenty thousand dollars like she knows what she's doing i had no idea what i was doing okay <laughs> like, like no idea what i was doing so going into your training and just letting go like you really have to let go of what you think you know so that you can be successful and going watching the reels training and even if you think you know how to create reels watching the captions the hooks everything just let go and be a beginner and it's such powerful stuff Love that. So while we're on topic of like lessons, could you please highlight maybe three main points that helped you to achieve this result? Or maybe it's um, the coaching calls or something else. So like three things that change that for you. Um, your real strategy, because again, there is a strategy. So again, I actually lost followers during this time because I've been changing my content, but that's fine. And I think a lot of people get attached to the views, the followers. So definitely the real strategy and just looking at it from from, again, how can I increase my conversion in my business. The real strategy um, has was extremely, extremely helpful. Um, your offer creation training painted a picture. I actually watched a lot of the replays and then um, I watched the training on that as well. And that just, again, um, really painted a picture that no matter what you want to do, there's a way. So that was a very powerful training as well. And then what else was on there? Oh, the stories. The story strategy actually is the one that I... <laughs> I continue to do and I actually think about doing it every month now moving forward because it's so powerful. You really do sell in stories and you guys have amazing strategies on how to execute everything. So those are the top three that played a huge role. Wow, that thank you so much. And obviously it's humbling that that offer creation was um one of them. So thank you so much for implementing it as well. It played a big because part. like learning and implementing are two completely different things. So this is amazing from yeah. your side. Yeah. And then um, just the last one for me. So what was the main like objection or maybe question or concern you had before joining the program? So maybe you thought, you thought it's not going to work or I don't know, something. It, it's like anything, right? And I like, I also hear from people when they, they want to come get my help to, it's like, but is it going to work? Like, is it going to work? And so, um, you know, naturally you always have that thought in the back of your mind, like, what if it doesn't work? But then it's like, but what if it does? So just... Again, being around people, like just positive and really wanting to see you win, like that took over everything. So any belief that I think I had was shut down instantly as soon as I came in. Well, even just when I met Tommy, it was shut down. So give Tommy a raise. Uh, he did a great job. Um, so it was just that, that natural human instinct of wanting to, you know, that little voice of like, what if it doesn't? But what if it does? It but then great. what was this kind of main thought? Like, why did you make this decision? So what what helped you to make this final step um honestly it was just that belief so it i've always wanted to just help people but i know that in order for me to help people i also have to become a better coach i have to i had to sharpen my skills and when i learned everything i possibly could on my own and with the people that i had at, you know as mentors at the time it was time for me to find someone else and that's where you guys came in so that was that was the drive is like if if you are not where you want to be, you need to get the people that have been where you want to go. Like, that's just, that's life. <laughs> and for me, it, it was, it was you guys, perfect alignment. I love that. Thank you so much again. So that's pretty much it from my side, but we have a whole team here. So <laughs> buckle up. Oh, gosh. Um, and yeah, guys, you can go with your questions. Yeah. Yeah. Mel, if you don't mind, good morning. Nice to meet you. I'm Charlie. Um, I was curious, how much did you know about Mike? before you jumped on a call with Tommy? Not much. Okay. And, and when you say not much, like, did you I see? I saw maybe like two or three videos on Instagram. You know, naturally he came on my algorithm right. and I think I went on Facebook. I actually booked a call on Facebook. It wasn't even on Instagram. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, cool. And and how long have you been with us now? I don't know when I, did I start. Did I start at the beginning of March, I believe? I don't know. I'll double check this. I don't Mark. know my start date. Yeah. Or oh, hey, like, no, sorry. Maybe the sometime in March, I think. I, I have no idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> for like two, well, like almost under two months then, really. Just about. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So cool. then boarding was 20th of February. 20th of oh, February. See, I'm all off. I have no idea. Hey, you got the results though. So that's fine. That doesn't matter. <laughs> we, we got you there. Cool. <laughs> um, And yeah, I mean, Alina kind of answered Marvel that question. It was going to be, what got you across the line? You know, what was that? But 
my man Tommy obviously uh just just killed it. That's the answer it was right just there. Tommy. It was Tommy. Yeah, um, yeah. It wasn't it wasn't Mike, it wasn't any of the student results. It was Tommy. Yeah, just Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> it was just cool. again, um seeing seeing he was just completely honest and you know, just uh very, very like it was very clear, like I you know, as a business owner, right? It's like the people that you have in the front is the people that you trust to represent who you are. And it was just mm -hmm. that instant, instant connection of we're here for you and this is how we can help you. And these are the benefits of working with us. Like kind of like, you know, like kind of like take it or leave it. And it was just like, it was just like super clear. And like that approach was just, again, what I was looking. It was like somebody that truly wants to help me. Obviously, like it's a business. Everybody knows like there's a cost to everything. But it was just, again, like not only the student results and proof of concept that you guys had, but just that instant feeling of like you guys were here to help me. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Thank you. Well, it's uh, it's absolutely awesome to see you have literally just hit six figure month within like just over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like obviously, like you know, I have I have my my uh, my um, they call my team with me and my the people that I teamed up with. But like even then, they're less just like being able to pass on everything that you guys have, you know, taught me and pass on to them. So just kind of like having this domino effect of helping other people as well. It's just like, I think that's such a cool thing to do. So what is the, um, the exact total from last month? If you have it. I, I don't, because there's actually some that came in like at 1am this morning, but um, I, th I think we're like, I mean, definitely a hundred K, but maybe a little bit more like 110 K. Okay. Yeah. 0 to 110k in two months cool. yeah yeah nice well we launched we launched april 1st so it's actually 30 days right yeah. okay 0 to 110k on launch in a month sweet yeah wow um is there anything else that you would have loved to have seen or known about the program before getting started that's like really stood out to you now that you're in it the offer creation. I think that that's, that's, um, I know like sometimes in the content, like it, it can be said like, oh, you know, offer creation, but kind of really emphasizing, um, how important that is, especially with somebody who maybe doesn't have an offer like me, I didn't have an offer. I was promoting somebody else's offer, but to be able to, you know, have that confidence in yourself, like, well, you, you can create something of your own if you want to, and we can teach you how to do that. Um, that is, I think maybe what what um a lot of people don't really highlight like a lot of people talk about like you know getting oh we can help you get more leads we can help you get more followers and i know like that is kind of like the big stuff that you guys promote for yourselves on like on social media like with mike but, like the offer creation i think is like it's a huge part and was it is it was it more the workshops with alina was it the uh like the trainings or then yeah, i watched I watched a lot of Alina's replays because I, I couldn't really um, attend them live. But just again, just breaking down exactly how it works. This is like, it really is like, how much do you want to make? Like, this is what you have to do kind of thing. Like, like that's just kind of like her approach. And it's like, well, it makes sense. But it's like, then you start implementing and you start taking inventory. You know, you start doing the funnels. You start asking the questions. You start putting the lead magnets. It's like, okay, I see what, what she's talking about. And I see what I need to do. But I also see where I can go. Mm -hmm. right? This is just kind of like continues to open the belief. And I think like as long as people have this information and they implement and take the action, like she kept saying like the one word that I now share with, with my, my community is implementation, like just implement. And it's just like, that's like the motto of life right there. <laughs> so, so now that you've been through the first two or three months of this process and you've got to this point, mm -hmm. do you truly believe that this could be in another three, three or even six months? If you just carry on oh, following. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I realize I cannot possibly sleep. Like if, you know, because of where I want to go, like sleep is not a thing anymore. Um, just kidding. It's, it's it, at this point, I, I, I need to delegate so that I can open up that room. So I'm kind of at that point. And you guys also have trading on like when it's time to get a team. So I do have a team, but it's like, okay, now I need to put people in places so that I can delegate so that I can focus more on my, my one-on-one, -on -one, which I know is going to, ultimately even help me scale even more. Right. Um, so I, I don't even want to put a number on it because it's like, it's, it's not, I don't see that anymore. Where in the beginning I was like, I, I just want to double my, my, I just want to make 40 K <clears throat> and now it's like, Oh, hundred K like launch. Like, okay, this is absolutely something that we can repeat. And then some, so at this point, my brain is just like, we're on an uptrend and that's, 
that's the only option. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Just one tiny comment from me. So on offer creation, we don't just do the offers, but we also do the team and how to hire and who to hire. So yeah, um, yeah, I need, I need to for you. Yeah, I, I did see that. I need to do that. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, because like we we're growing right now as a team. So um, we have fifteen coaches, huge sales team, huge setters team. Yeah. So this is exactly um, what you can just copy paste into your business yeah. to scale to multiple six figures and then maybe one mail. That is exactly the goal. I did I did say to um to Courtney, she did ask me a question. I don't know if this is coming out, but she was like, what's like one thing that, you know, that, you know, maybe would have helped her business a little bit more. Um, and I said it was email marketing, because that's kind of like where I'm um, you know, I'm getting opt-ins and I do have an email campaign and I know a little bit of copywriting, but it's like again, it's just like another piece of your brain that has to give away. And it's like if I could go ahead did you did you guys um do you guys have that because i didn't really see a lot of email marketing and that, that's like the one thing that i that i like i wish i had right now yeah it's coming in mid-may we invited an expert who's going to record a whole module yes you guys like that's Just it for I you. Think, yeah i think like that's honestly it like because uh, as you know, right, like with Instagram going down sometimes uh, or like if your account goes down, it's like now you now you just have your email list and I have an email list of like 37,000 people that I really mm. don't know how to find my voice because I built that off of somebody else's voice. So in some ways, I'm kind of starting all over. So um, that I think is just going to continue to um, increase conversion. So, yeah. Hey, Mel, uh, congratulations. By the way, it's got to pay you a quick compliment. Um, you're very authentic. And uh, because of that, you'll attract a lot of people. So I just want to give you that. Um, congratulations for, I mean, just killing it in a very short period of time. So a couple statements here. And then like, I got a question that I just got to get you to answer. Um, you know, obviously your goals coming in we're at a certain place now that you've gotten to where you are now in two months how have your goals changed exactly from you coming in to where you are now to where you are now to looking ahead over the next three months the next year the next two years like where do you see this going now that your eyes are open and you know what you're able to accomplish that's such a deep question josh i know <laughs> That's why I ask it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so the vision for me, and like I remember talking to Tommy and talking to Courtney, and, and you know, you know, we can talk about my results all day long, but um, it was, ah, gosh, it was quite an emotional day yesterday because the people that we have inside of the community, the people that that are trusting us, that are tr trusting our training, that are attending our live Q and A's, um, I love coaching people I like I love just helping them get that first dollar online helping them scale their business like just helping them with their belief because I I, I think a lot of people forget that we were beginners right mm. like 13 13 months ago I was twenty thousand dollars in debt like I had no idea like if you told me I'd be here on this meeting with you guys like no way like no way um, so the person I've become over the last year, like I am so excited for the person I get to become. And I know that as long as I continue to focus on my why and where I've been and how far I've come and continuing to serve people, um, that is the person I want to become. It's just the person that continues to lead from a place of compassion and helping other people achieve the same that I have. Like literally the person I'm serving is the person I was before. Mm -hmm. And um Yesterday, there was people that were making their first their first online commission, the people, you know, getting their first 500 followers from zero people who were frustrated for four months, making, um, you know, $500 yesterday, making their first four figure month and like we help people do this in just 30 days. And this is not something that I was able to do before. And so just having that impact on people um, it's something that I want to continue to do every single day. And then like, I, I shot a story yesterday. It's like, why didn't anyone tell me that it's more exciting to make other people money? Like, yeah. sure, it's, it's nice when I'm making money. It's like, oh, cool, cool. Making money yeah. in my sleep. But that's awesome. But just doing that for others, allowing, you know, that opportunity for others. Um, that's just, that's what I continue to see myself doing for, for as long as I can, because it yeah. me out. Yeah. yeah. You just answered my second part of my question, which was going to be, how have you grown as a person 
stepping into this new these new shoes that you're now feeling um and it's like you've unlocked this new version of yourself that's empowering you because you're able to give your gifts back to other people and help people in the way that that you needed help and that's kind of the the area that you're serving now yeah i think yeah your first client is always you right you're always your first client i think people forget that and yeah it's been quite a journey like i'm a completely different person from a year ago and it's it's just always about leveling up right in, in order to level up you have to get uncomfortable so I'm sure there's going to be in a, in a few months, I'm like, okay, I need a challenge. I need to, you know, do something else or not something else in the sense of like, you know, giving up on what I'm doing, but just like, probably I'm going to want a, a you know, a bigger win in my life. And, you know, I don't know what that's going to look like, but I'm open to it. And it's just, that's the person I am today is like, I'm open to whatever. I don't, I don't see problems. I actually don't ever think about like, is this going to be a problem? Not a question in my mind. Uh, Mel, last question. What's your uh, Instagram handle? You're going to get you a new follower here in a second <laughs> it's um at kobe and capital spelled c-o-b as in boy i-a-n capital you know took a page from grant cardone cardone capital mm, very nice <laughs> wonderful yeah well, well, Mel, that keep doing good. what you're doing you're fantastic thank you so much for sharing and joining us today <sighs> thank you guys i feel special <laughs> you are amazing don't tell me so don't guys tell me. Do you have any last minute questions or? I just have one quick question. Um, you had said that you had, um, you were doing affiliate marketing and then you created your own offers. Did anything change with your content? Like did your whole strategy, did you change your whole business model or did you just create your own type of content selling the same type of services so that you didn't have to change your whole Instagram and all that? No. So it was like, it's still kind of like the make money online niche, right? Super popular. But with with so many voices in this space and so many people confused, I I completely changed my my tone and my strategy with reels because I came from a place of, you know, what my mentor told me at the time was just like, just get more views, just get more views, just get more views, just, you know, like, you know, like model, 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 model. But what I didn't have was my voice. What I didn't have was giving people value. It was just like, oh, they, they're, here's a video that got like, you know, 10 million um 10 million views like go 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 recreate it but nothing about that video made sense to who I am because like I've had this per person behind me like just like you know like fired up ready to help people but it was like I never had a voice when it came to the marketing like the funnel the 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 email marketing the content it was never me it was just like drive traffic to this offer make money which is great but it, it's not what fired me up so it's mm -hmm. like, I would give that up and like, I don't have, I, like, nobody wants to worry about creating offers. Nobody wants to worry about creating, like putting the, the, the brain work behind creating content scripts or anything like that. But I would trade it in a heartbeat because of, I'm just fired up now because I, I have this purpose now, you know? So it's a completely different. And I, 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 I hope people can feel it through the content. If that makes sense. Right, like there's yes. a now, like I, like a voice. <laughs> so your voice and authentic, authentic, if I could even say that word, we're just going to assume that I said it right. Was able to come out uh, yes. because of the coaching and everything, and get you felt yes. more confident. And it was just everything changed from that point. Yes, because somebody can tell you like, hey, you know, be more authentic in your content. It's like, what does that even mean? So so you know, taking taking the the again, just letting go of what you think you know. And again, detaching from getting the views, detaching from getting the followers and just focus on connecting with your audience. I was able to do that because of the training. Of that connecting with your audience. Thank you yeah. very much. It's important. Amazing. So I think that was the last one. So once again, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. So we're going to upload it to the platform. I'm going to share your um, Instagram, lots of followers coming your way, lots of high tickets and quality leads and yeah just once again keep crushing it i'm really excited to see the next uh the results in the next few months and i'll be waiting for you on our tuesday meetings same yeah. time yeah Every you week. got it thank you guys thank you Maybe. so much for your time i appreciate this email have fun <laughs> bye all right fucking sick yeah